Hello, this is Rachel, Dan, and Allie from Primal for Life, and we're um, trying out some recipes from a new cookbook we got off of JulianBakery.com. It's Paleo Indulgences, and we're making these cookies so mm. called S'more Oz. So this is a three-step process for these cookies. So um, you have to make the cookies, the caramel, and then the chocolate drizzle on the top. And we're um, using two additional products from Julian Bakery in this recipe. The uh, They're both from Coconut Secret, the raw coconut nectar, and the coconut crystal. So both of them are a natural uh, sugar alternative sweetener made from coconut um, and definitely a great substitution for sugar and or other types of... They're um, like mixed with honey. No, it's coconut, not <laughs> honey. Or like an alternative from honey and so on um, for paleo uh, lifestyles. So we're going to start the first part of these cookies, um, which is the cookie mixture. And we have our coconut oil already... Um, Warming up. Yeah, Warming. melting. Thank you, Daddy. Melting in the oven there as we preheat our oven to 350. And we have to start with two cups of almond flour. And we're going to add a half a cup of unsweetened shredded coconuts. Let me do it, please. Hold on, please. We have a very persistent assistant, as you can tell. I know. You want to make lots of cookies. Okay, pour that in. That's a half a cup. And then, well, no, you need all of it. And then half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, now whisk that all together and don't make a mess. No. We want to get this nice and fluffy. No, not yet. That's just the dry ingredients. Uh -oh. Do the dry ingredients first. Then we put the wet ingredients inside. No, we're going to do the wet ingredients in the mixer. Let me see. Whisk this all together as it gets stuck here in our little whisk. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We have our dry ingredients all combined. And now in our mixer, we're going to add our wet ingredients. So we're going to go with a quarter cup of maple syrup. We're going to be using the nectar actually for the caramel, which that'll be step two. Mm. For the cookies, we're actually going to use maple syrup as the sweetener. Okay, Allie, can you pour that in there? Pour it all in. Did it. Okay, one egg. Oh, thank you. One egg. I don't want to do this one. You don't want to do the egg? No. Okay. Do any shells go in there? No. That one was a hard one. Okay. And then we need to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And we have our pure vanilla here. All right, I need to do one more. Leave it over, hold. Mm. Flip, flip, flip. Stop moving, thank you. Now put it on. Okay. Done with that, okay, thank you. Now we have to get our coconut oil out of the oven. Now that it's melted, oh, let's see it back up. Ugh. Pour this in here. Okay. I am mixing. Let's make sure we get all the ingredients first. No, we didn't use coconut nectar. That's in the next step. Okay, so we got maple syrup, vanilla, and egg, and the coconut oil. Okay, so now we're gonna add. Now that we have this stuff in the mixer, we're gonna pour we're this gonna in. Pour this in yeah. Pour it a cup. Pour it all in. Probably would have been better if I tried to pour this in before we put the bowl on the mixer. Okay, now. Alright, put it on. We're going to mix this all together How until much? it's well blended. How put much? It on, like, start it on two, please. Get it on two. 
So um, after we got our cookie batter all together, you had to put it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. So now it's ready to roll. And then we're going to take it and drop by tablespoons on a <laughs> parchment lined Paper. cookie sheet. Can I help you? In a minute. Ooh, don't get too much on that one. Well, it says it makes 12 cookies, but... I know, we'll we're going to do it in a, a batch, more. right? I'm going to do this in a batch. I think this is going to make a little bit more than 12. Or is better. <laughs> and then once we get these... We uh, can try to do it even more. ...scooped out. Um, but it says not to crowd the pan, so I'm not going to place. We'll just do a second batch. So I'm going to get these in the oven, and then we're going to start making our caramel. Okay. So these go in. Mama, I know caramel is orange. No, it's like a yellowish color. So they go in at 350 for 12 to 13 minutes. So we'll do it for 12. Okay, so now we're going to start making our caramel. And what we're going to do here um, is for the caramel, we need our coconut crystals. So we have a cup measured out here. Allie, can you put that in there? A cup? Thank you. And then we also have our coconut nectar, and we need a quarter cup of that. So Allie, put all that in there, please. Ooh. Let it get all out. Okay, I think maybe, you know what, here's a spoon. We can scrape some of that out. Make sure it stays in there. This stuff's very sticky. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Basically, same consistency as honey. Like I said, it's a na another natural alternative to honey and your maple syrup. It's uh, directly from coconut. From the coconut tree. The coconut tree, yes. And it's okay. non-GMO. It's all natural. <coughs> Gluten-free. And then we also have um, a half a cup of coconut milk, so we're gonna, which is full-fat coconut milk. Then we're going to get this on the stove, and we need to... Continue to combine this and we're going to do it over medium high heat and get it to boiling um, and let it boil for about 20 minutes and then we're going to let it uh, remove it from the heat and let it cool for 10. So let's get this going over here. Get a spoon, stir it all up. These cookies are a lot of steps so let's hope they're deliciously worth it. <laughs> Okay, so now we have our caramel done and it's cooled. And then we have our cookies done and cooled as well. Mm -hmm. And then for the topping of the cookies, we have um, some toasted coconut, which I already toasted up here at about <laughs> 300 for about 10 minutes. Um, and then now we have to make our chocolate. So we have over here a double Ooh. boiler. And we're gonna get the chocolate melted, melted on here. <laughs> And then we're going to start to assemble our cookies. Mm. Okay, so now while we got our chocolate melting, we're going to start doing the top part of part of our cookies a little bit. So we're going <coughs> to take a little bit of the caramel and put it on the top. And then after we get all the caramel, we're going to start uh, putting the uh, shredded coconut on as well. So we're going to take some coconut oil and do this. And Alessia, if you can get in here, then yes, you can put the shredded coconut on. Okay. All right, now that our chocolate's melted and we have the caramel and the coconut on the cookies, we're going to do the next step, which is to take the cookie and dunk the bottom in the chocolate and then put it back on the parchment paper. Ah, drop that one. I'll go in order here so I know which ones I did. Okay, we got all the cookies bottoms done now. We're gonna take the rest of the chocolate, drizzle it over these. And then we gonna, what are we gonna do? We're gonna let them sit for about an hour till all that chocolate crash sets up. 
And here's our final product, the Some More Oz Cookies through the Paleo Indulgences Cookbook. I tasted one of them. They are phenomenal, and they definitely taste like the uh, the Samoas that you get from the Girl Scouts, uh, except they're healthy. So give them a try. Make sure you pick up the uh, Coconut Secret products that we use through JulianBakery.com along with this cookbook, and check out all their other fine products that they have in that Paleo section. And until then, this is Dan from Primal for Life. Have a great day.